Welcome to Bread from the Potter. This message was received from the Lord Jesus on October the 21st, 2017. The title of the message is The Earth, Heaven and Hell. And the Lord Jesus began, Children, do you marvel at the wonders of my hands? The things that I have created? I created it all for your enjoyment. The mountains, forests, seas, animals, flowers, all these were created for your enjoyment. Yes, my creation is a marvel, and yet there is so much just on this earth that you are yet to discover. Everything that I created on this earth was good in my sight. I not only created life, but continuous life, and I taxed you with the responsibility of taking care of what I gave you authority over. All the beauty and magnificence around you was placed in your hands. You are king over it, to rule over it and subdue it, but with such a responsibility came accountability. You are still to care for the things I created for your enjoyment. As you wonder about the beauty of my creation, remember, child, these are but a shadow of what I created for you in heaven. The earth, as beautiful as it is, does not even come close to matching what is in heaven. The colors are richer in heaven. The flowers sing. The leaves never fall off the tree. The grass is evergreen and the waters are deep blue emerald color. There is a wider variety of plants in heaven and the animals do not fight or kill each other. You will pet lions, tigers and bears in heaven without fear of being mauled or killed. Nothing fades away here. Nothing grows old and feeble and nothing dies. There is perfect harmony, perfect unity, perfect love. All this is possible because there is no sin in heaven. Sin brings corruption, as evidenced by life on earth. The minute sin entered the earth, all life began to die. Nothing was forever anymore. All created things began to die. Murder, greed, strife entered the earth, and all sorts of abomination is now evidenced upon the earth. They are all from hell. Satan is the originator of evil, and he has brought disease, decay, and death upon the earth, the very things that exist in his kingdom, hell. Children, there is nothing good in hell. All is dead. All is corrupt. It is the domain of pure evil, an evil that saps life out of any place or any body. Every evil thought, emotion, action, and word exists in hell. The vilest thing you can think of cannot compare to the tortures of hell. It is a place without life or light, a place of perpetual darkness, a darkness that can be touched and felt. It is both a hot searing place and a cold dumpy place. It is a place of torture, torment and isolation. There is no good thing in hell. Think of all things good, like love, joy, peace, kindness. All the fruit of the Spirit is lacking in hell. No one cares for another. There is infighting and pure hate that dwells there constantly. There is no relief from the pain or the darkness. The sorrow of the hell dwellers is complete and without remedy. Once you descend into hell in total death, there is no escape for you. Your fate is sealed. There is no hope, no prayers that will be heard or answered. Your own words and thoughts constantly torment you. There is no rest from the constant cycle of torture. The end of one cycle simply heralds the beginning of another. No man has a mind capable of imagining or understanding the extreme depravity that is found in hell. Think about it. To go to hell means to forever remain in darkness. There is no parole, no early release for good behavior, because good does not exist there and the souls that enter hell permanently remain a prisoner of it for all eternity. After all I have revealed to you, do you still want to go to hell? Selah.